Hello friends, in this particular tutorial uh, we will be doing a wet on wet imaginative watercolors. See the idea is just to follow your heart and uh, uh, do uh, take the best benefit of uh, wet on wet and uh, do watercolors. Um, initially I did some sky, top of the sky and applied some uh, sprayed some water uh, this area was already wet the mid area of the paper was already wet on top of that i have applied little bit of uh, spraying to get a lot of uh, wet on wet spreading happening so initially i applied uh, cerulean blue for the sky now i'm using peacock blue and the colors that i'm using is Mijello mission gold uh, little darker blue to get some sense of uh, distant foliages wet on wet. I am allowing the colors to bleed uh, across each other to get some interesting effect. Whenever you do this you cannot precisely control it, you cannot precisely expect what can happen. But we have an idea when, when once we do this kind of practice over a period of time we have some we can kind of make some judgments or we can we can have a fair idea of what may happen we cannot precisely exp i mean uh, predict what will happen because it is uh, wet on wet uh, here i am suggesting some water some darker tone at the bottom see the precise color doesn't really matter you can use whatever color you like I don't have very clear idea of uh, what I will be uh, doing on those white areas which were sort of uh, naturally formed. I might create something. Okay. The paper that I am using is Indian handmade paper Chitrapat 270 GSM. It's a cold press paper and it gives a lot of wet on wet working time. And uh, the brush that I'm using is uh, a calligraphy brush. Uh, it is a Chinese calligraphy brush. And, uh, this is some distant foliages, just to uh, get a better composition. I'm filling that area with uh, foreign foliages. It is important to drag out those uh, accumulated paint at the bottom edge. Otherwise, background may happen and spoil your work. I am thinking of making some distant houses, some roofs, etc. Uh, to create some interest. Maybe a piece of greenish land there and some houses. Here, maybe some red color would be better. So I am using some red color. And I am not sure precisely what color it is. It is some uh, bright uh, pink sort of color, red color. And whatever, whenever I suggest some element, I also try to suggest some reflection so that it gets convincing. These are the reflections for the elements above. Here I think some, I need to put some uh, greenish land maybe, warm green, some yellowish green. Okay. Some reflection for those greens. And uh, maybe some shadows for the distant houses. See, this is something that uh, comes into your mind. If you keep practicing uh, imaginative uh, drawing and painting, the ideas will start uh, coming into your mind. So you just listen to that and follow. I think some shapes are there. More than being precise elements, I am interested in some shapes that are 
composition wise that plays some role maybe some reflection for that tiny tree there if you think this kind of tutorials are informative and can be useful to you uh, please subscribe to my channel and also press the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever I release a new video so I'm drying it so that I need the details now so I can't do it on wet on wet so I dried it with a hair dryer it is completely dry now and now I am suggesting some house roofs uh, with thick paints okay it doesn't have to be precise okay uh, some suggestion for those uh, red elements some reflection some touches here and there and some smudging with the finger now I am going for a boat a tiny boat okay I am using some turquoise color for that it is not sufficiently popping up so I might use some white going forward to bring some highlights this is just a very tiny boat with uh, maybe one figure, one character there okay, and a reflection. So it is just to make the composition a bit more interesting. And if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, you please uh, put them into the comment below. Uh, sorry, the writing here is uh, cropped a bit, but uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, please uh, please let me know in the comments. Now a tiny figure. Okay, so drawing this tiny figure will need a little bit of practice. Even though it is tiny, you should respect the perspective, the relations. Of uh, the proportion all those things should be convincing some reflection for those and uh, I think uh, the figure is convincing enough okay. uh, I, I wouldn't do a lot of things there yeah I think it is convincing just giving some white, thick white uh, highlights for this. It's a pure uh, watercolor, pig watercolor. It is not a gouache, it is watercolor. And uh, Chinese white watercolor taken directly from the tube. Yeah. Some white touches here and there to create some interest. That's it. I think we are getting close to the finishing. I don't want to spoil it by adding too many things some some touches here and there it is very easy to overdo this so you should be very careful when you do this okay yeah i think we are i am pretty much done i am finishing it by signing uh, thank you for watching this video hope this in, this video was uh, informative to you if you have any questions or suggestions, as I have mentioned earlier, please do let me know in terms of uh, in the comments below. Uh, I'll be, I'll take, I'll put my best effort to clarify your questions in the comments, and also, if possible, take your suggestions for future videos. I think uh, that's it for uh, today's video. Uh, Anything else? I'm quite fact. Uh, in fact, I'm quite happy with the uh, with the work. So I'm taking out the tape now. Uh, if you want, maybe if we want, we could have added quite a bit of uh, additional details. But I prefer a minimalistic approach when it comes to watercolors, particularly wet on wet watercolors. So once again, thanks for watching, and. Uh, if you think uh, this video is going to help you or if it is inspiring so please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell notification thank you very much we will see you in the next video